Hi. What's happening, my man? How are you? Great. How about you? Fine. End of a long day, but real good. Where are you going? To a restaurant, and I don't know the name of it. Okay, I know it. You know it. Okay, well, this, so we're going somewhere. Yeah, we're going somewhere in Brussels. Okay, great. It's been like 10 years I want you to come on that back seat. You've been doing this for 10 years? Yeah. Wow. Well, thanks for having me. That's a pleasure. I actually listen to your music for more than half of my life now. <laughs> That's cool. Déjà 23 ans de carrière et 14 CD derrière lui, et non des moindres. Ben Harper, c'est toute l'Amérique en musique. Blues, gospel, rock, funk, soul, reggae mêlé, sans oublier le folk dans lequel il a baigné tout petit. Faut dire qu'il a grandi parmi les guitares et les banjos des magasins de musique de ses grands-parents. Par ailleurs, créateur d'un musée du folk. Une famille de mélomanes, musiciens et chanteurs comme sa maman. Son ex-femme, l'actrice Laura Dern, vue notamment dans Sailor Moon de David Lynch, est la mère de deux de ses quatre enfants. Et oui, elle n'a pas perdu son temps. You still live in LA? I do. I was uh, with my son. Oh, nice. How old is he? 16. What's his name? Matisse. Matisse, great name. That was the first time we were traveling just uh, son and dad. Oh, man, mm -hmm. that is too cool. How many children do you have? Four. Four. Two boys, two girls. And I've always cherished the trips that we do on our own. Oh, yes. I even cherish just going to lunch with them alone. You know, and the older they get, that time is more and more scarce. Oh, yes. Because they go off and do their own thing. Oh, yes, it's precious. Did you always took the time to do that? Yeah. Were you able yes. all the time to, to know that it was important? Yep. Yep. And, and uh, they're still of the age where, I mean, my oldest is 19, he's in college now. Uh -huh. So, uh, but we still went on a father and son trip last summer. We took the train from LA up to San Francisco. Traveling the world is something very important for us and for our children, of course, because that's maybe the only way to stop uh, being scared by others. Did you learn something like that? while traveling? It is a great education if you take it in and take the time to get to know where you're traveling to. Uh -huh. Sometimes it can be pretty busy and you know, you don't have as much time in certain places as you'd like, but over the years you end up getting some real time all over the world. It'll show you something that you could never learn in a book or read in a magazine. What's going on with these trees that are all tied together like Yeah, that? they're all tied together. It's, but, it's but very it, usual here. Yeah, I've never seen that anywhere in all my travels. Oh, no? Never. I'd remember that. That's beautiful. It's a tree weave. Yeah. And during the summer, it's with flowers and it's uh, beautiful. Uh -huh. It's Brussels. <laughs> Brussels is the shit. It is so cool here. Oh, yes? Yeah. Why? It's just a... I don't know, it, it's uh, the architecture, the pace of life. Mm. There's some, I mean, there's there's a lot of modern buildings as well, but I just love the old classic buildings. Yeah, like this. Yeah, the brick and the, the windows. It's just, I don't know, there's just a specific feel here that's different from the rest of Europe. Yeah. I mean, there's a king, there's a king. There is a king here. I mean, I was here when they walked through the streets. Oh yeah? Yeah, and they celebrated the king through the, st the streets. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's meant to be impressive for an American. Yeah. The country with a king. It's funny you say that, because it's, and I was, wow, and I was out in the streets watching, and I remember one old Belgian lady who was so annoyed uh -huh. by the whole thing. And she's, I don't care about a king. I, I've got to get to where I'm going. I was like, but look at this parade. Look at the king! She's like, I don't care. <laughs> That's what Belgians are like. But chocolate and lace and tantan <laughs> and freaking <laughs> Lefe beer. It's incredible. <laughs> Belgians. Ça va bien. On fait une émission de télévision. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
You, 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 you met a Belgian girl when you were young in Los Angeles. Is it, is it right when you, when you yeah, arrived? Marie. Yeah, she saved my ass, man. <laughs> uh, I still owe her. What was the story? She was a friend of mine's girlfriend, and she brought us in and let us live with her and fed us. In Los Angeles? In Los Angeles. I mean, we had nothing. We had no money. She worked at a restaurant. She gave us free food. Uh -huh. She gave us a, a floor to sleep on, a couch to sleep on for a lot, for a year. Uh -huh. And she just believed in us and let us stay with her. Gave us the key to her apartment. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Marie. I hope you are so happy. I hope you see this. Mm-hmm. <laughs>